everybody welcome back to my channel today's what what is this today's video is going to be on this right here i finally purchased it and what if it's fake like i made sure i didn't get the fake one like i purposely wanted this shit to die down because it's just like everybody was buying it everybody was putting it out everybody was making fake shit and no how do you know if it's fake well for one go to their website and buy it like stop trying to get it for the low low like just spin your coin if you really want to test it out for real like if you if you really bought that luck i picked up the shade 224 now i've seen so many reviews like i don't know which like which one is mine gonna look like because it's so many different colors the 224 is the darkest shade and it sucks that i am the darkest shade but if i'm not the darkest shade this will be too dark for me but i'm not sure because some of them are like the ones that I saw were golden, but I'm not sure if it's like, I don't know, we're just gonna see. So this is waterproof, SPF 30, and it's hyperallergenic. So this is what the packaging looks like. Um, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but this is what the packaging looks like. It's, it's a box. And we open it. Uh, I'm sure you've just seen a thousand videos like this. So when you open it, it comes like this, and this packaging is really cute. It's a, uh... but yeah. So yeah, a lot of them, yeah, I can tell. A lot of the videos that I saw were fake as hell, okay? This packaging is thick. Like, this is super thick. And um, it expires in 2022. As some of you may know, I am into self photography. Like I like to take my own pictures, and I'm like just I'm just into that type of stuff. So I wanted to test this out to see if it's legit. And like when I'm um, doing makeup for photography, I like to cover up everything so I won't have to edit that out later on while I'm editing my pictures. I don't like to just go and edit everything out. Like I want my makeup to do that for me so let's see if this really works first i'm gonna open it and i haven't opened it as you can see um yeah so i'm just gonna open it i don't know if this is my color i think it's too dark okay and, and a lot of the fake ones they were just oozing out like this one isn't oozing out like this shit is thick as hell and it don't really smell like anything as of right now but yeah so let's just i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna put a little bit in i hate when people just squeeze it out like come on now what are you doing like i just hate messy stuff so that's probably why it's annoying me but i'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger literally that's too dark bro i'm pissed this is dark but you know how I'm gonna make it work. So this is what it looks like. I mean, mm -mm, I might be able to make that work. This is super thick, by the way. Boom. Oh yeah, it's super thick. This definitely feel like a concealer. Look how thick that is. But this color, I don't know, bro. So yeah, let's just try to apply this. I will be using um, a Real Techniques buffing brush. And let's just, I think this will work. And I already applied um, a moisturizer. I went in and moisturized with the Glam Glow Star Potion because I heard that this is very, it doesn't work good on dry skin. And I have very dry skin. Look how orange this looks, first of all. Um, yeah, so let's just try this out. <laughs> I really, I really want this to work because I really want this for like my photography pictures. Like, please work. So I'm just gonna put some on my finger, taking a little bit at, the t at a time. And as you can see, I have, you know, acne scarring. So I'm gonna start on my chin. And I have an uneven skin tone as well, so I wanted to try something out for that. Holy shit. 
Jesus Christ. I, I have to really blend this out because I don't want it to look cakey or anything. But so far, since it's super thick, it doesn't feel um, heavy on the skin. Like, a lot of people were saying that, and I guess they was right because it doesn't feel cakey on the skin at all. It's actually, it, it feels really nice. So I'm gonna go in and add more. And I'll add a little by little. Like, I'm not trying to waste any of this. People was just using unnecessary amounts, like. Jesus. And since this is not my color, I'm gonna have to like blend down. I mean, I like a kind of, I like a more golden foundation anyway. What the fuck? I like a more, this is fucking crazy. Like I'm really excited. Like I'm super excited. Wow. Like what? It just took all of that away. I'm very excited about this. Like, y'all don't know how excited I am. And it wasn't lying when they said a little goes a long way. Yeah, if you really want a full coverage front, um, I'm wearing this for photography. I wouldn't wear this every day. I mean, I don't know. It's not a bad finish. Like, it's giving me that dewiness that I like in my photo shoes. Like, I cannot complain right now. Everybody who's complaining about, like, the coverage and it's too dry. I don't know. Like, a lot of... The fake ones are giving the good one, the real one, a bad name. Because this is actually pretty good. And it doesn't smell like anything. A lot of people were saying like it had a smell. I'm not smelling anything. Um, this looks amazing. Like, it's crazy. I love this. I love this foundation. I love it. I, I mean, I feel like it's actually working well for the, the color. This is pretty dark. I have a very orange under, undertone. <laughs> undertone. <laughs> it have a very orange undertone. And um, and I'm a yellow undertone. But, you know, you can make anything work. And for photography, I like to look more golden anyway. So. And it's not looking streaky or anything. Like, I'm sure. And of course, you know, it's, I have acne, a little bit of acne, so it's like, I'm not expecting it to, you know, cover my life, but it's definitely full coverage. As you can see, it took all of that away. I'm gonna set this, and I'm gonna be using the LA Colors Loose Powder, and um, I'm gonna set my face. So, it's hmm, crazy. Next, I'm just gonna go in and add a little bit of concealer. And um, just see how that um, works together underneath the eyes. See how these formulas react together? I mean, so far it's not like doing anything bad. I'm just gonna add a little blush and just gonna complete my face a little bit and I'll be back. This foundation is crazy, like, bruh, like, my picture's about to be lit, like, my pictures are about to be lit, my edges dusty from the powder and stuff, but, do y'all see this, like, my face, it, I just don't even know what to say, I want to take pictures, 
every five minutes now like with a different look like just wash this face off apply some more do a different look every five minutes every hour if you that type of girl who just like a full-on full coverage face just going to work and going to get breakfast and stuff like that then um this foundation is for you however if you are like into photography film this is definitely for you like this is now my go-to foundation for photography like I'm not using, well, I lied. For a minute, this is, I'm gonna be using this for like a minute and when I run out, I'm buying some more. Like, I think I'm about to go buy two just because, because. This is a natural look, but I still look kind of beat, like. And like I said, it covered everything, okay? It covered everything, but I didn't get this low. I didn't put a lot down there, but it covered everything. And it's okay that I left that out because if I was to just blur everything, then it would have looked realistic. And, you know, I have acne scars, so I want a little bit to show, you know. So, And this is only one layer, though, so imagine if I put some more there, like, it'd be crazy. And, um, but this side, do not apply this over dry skin, please. If you have textured skin, you want to take care of that. Like, you want to moisturize. You want to do whatever you got to do to get rid of dead skin, all of that, because you don't want to apply this thick foundation over dry skin because then you're going to have dry patches. You don't want to, you want to avoid that. So I really advise you to moisturize. Um, I normally do not moisturize with an oil. I normally go in with Dove or just some type of cream moisturizer, not an oil moisturizer. But today for this foundation, I went in with the oil and... It just feels right like my fan my skin doesn't feel dry it doesn't feel cakey like a lot of people's foundation was spreading like it was just doing all types of crazy stuff my foundation isn't doing that and that probably could be because y'all did not set it properly properly you have to set it properly okay like do your research this is not like an everyday foundation it's different shit to it you have to do different shit you have to do extra Okay, like you can't just do a 10 minute beat and be okay. Like you have to, when you set your face, you have to let that shit set. Okay, you have to let it seep into your skin. Like you have to let this thick foundation dry. Like a lot of people were saying when they touched it, like their skin was greasy. Like it's nothing on my skin. Like it's nothing. So you have to really let this shit dry. Like for real though, you have to. Um, but yeah, this is my opinion on the Derma derma cold foundation like i really love this and i really recommend it to all the people who's into photography or if, if you just want to beat face or if you just really love full coverage if you have really bad acne then i really recommend this like please go on their website and get it because like if you try to buy like a cheap one you're going to get a fake one so um yeah and i look raggedy i'm sorry my hair is just is i washed it and i just put it in like this ponytail and i just braided it so um that's what my hair is looking <laughs> that's what my hair is looking like so excuse me if i'm looking a little rough i just as soon as i got this in the mail i went to go get it and i just filmed this tutorial as you can see i'm not dressed i'm chilling so um i will be uploading pictures on instagram later follow me subscribe to my youtube channel so you will be updated on a video and I will be doing more videos like this, trying out different foundations because, like, photography, you always switch to something up. Like, you always want to try something new. So, you can comment things that you want me to test out as far as foundations. As far as makeup, just comment things that you want me to test out. And, um, I will definitely try to, you know, put these videos out for you. So, this is the start of, like, my photography makeup series. So, this is the best foundation for photography. Like, I'm not even gonna hold you. I didn't even do a flash test. But I'm gonna do one later because hopefully my pictures come a bomb. And if it don't, then you will just see it on Instagram. And yeah, I thank you for watching this video. And I really hope this encourages you to go out and purchase this because like, this is a really good foundation. Like, I'm not even holding you up. This is a really good foundation. Like, my foundation haven't looked this good in a long time. And I thought this was gonna be a the color wasn't going to be good for me, but this color is actually pretty good for me. Like, I really love it.
it's actually pretty cute and this is the darkest shade and this is 224 like how is this the darkest shade y'all like they need to come on now but um yeah this is the darkest shade so yeah i have everything linked below and i thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe